Yesha Yahu, Isaiah 47. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babel. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Kazdim, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill, rather meal. Uncover your locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, your shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet you as a man. As for our Redeemer, Yahuwah Sevaoth is his name, the Holy One of Yashadael, sit silent and give you into darkness, O daughter of the Kazdim, for you shall no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. Upon the ancient have you very heavily laid your yoke. And you said, I shall be a lady forever. So that you did not lay these things to your heart, neither did remember the latter end of it. Therefore hear now this, you that are given to pleasures, that dwell carelessly, that say in your heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon you in their perfection for the multitude of your sorceries and for the great abundance of your enchantments. You have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, none sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge, it has perverted you. And you have said in your heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon you. You shall not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon you. You shall not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. Stand now with your enchantments, and with the multitude of your sorceries, wherein you have labored from your youth. If so, be you shall be able to profit. If so, be you may prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, rather, prognosticators stand up, and save you from these things that shall come upon you. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver at themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to, set, to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto you with whom you have labored, even your merchants from your youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save you.